us. Oh, Julianne is in the house. Julianne, really wait one second. I just want to give uh, Lori some, well, I'll give Lori props in a moment. Let's get Julianne in the house. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, Look at that smile. Well, I was trying to get my dogs to hush. This is the second time I've been on here and I have a lot of questions. I was like, I can't type them fast enough. I asked about yep. the masks earlier. So I went on a group blind date a couple weeks ago and it, it went horribly. And um, it's been about like a year since I've been in a longer term relationship. I was with him about nine months. And going on this group blind date, I'll spare you the details, but what it just made me decide, I think I'm just ready to just be alone but i don't know if that's like the right well, why, don't you, like, why yeah. don't you just well why we better find out what the heck happened so uh, why was it horrible well um okay so i went with a friend and she's okay. like you have to meet my boyfriend's friend i want to set you up and i was i kept saying no for did you mean a double date a double blind date yeah and so we okay, all had so you dinner both, you and a girlfriend were both on blind dates well, no, her her boyfriend, they've been together for three okay. years, and it's her boyfriend's best friend. Okay, so you, so basically yeah. a blind date. Okay, double date. Yes, blind so date. I okay. show up. This is the first time I've met him, um, okay. and um, I, I've known her for, you know, like seven years or so. And okay. dinner, I mean, it went well and everything. Um, long story short, um, he paid for everybody's dinner, which was nice. Okay. And okay. it's time to walk back to the car. And he's like, may I walk you to your car? But, well, first of all, like, he did not really ask a whole lot of questions about me. I was like, hey, have you been married? Do you have kids? And you'd think that he would reciprocate. None of that. He just kept wanting okay. to talk about himself. And I was like, ugh. But um, okay. so he walks me to the car and he grabs me and tries to kiss me and asks me to stay all night with him. I'm like, okay, I just met you. Okay. <laughs> like. I mean, okay. slow as molasses, but he has a really good job and his job is interesting. So I was like, I'm, I'm a sucker for punishment, a uh, glutton for punishment. So I was like, let me give him one more chance. So he- Wait, wait, um, time out. Did you tell your friend what had happened? No, she hasn't asked yet. I think she kind of knows, but- um, When did this date happen? How many the days day ago? The day before Easter. And then the last time I seen him was um, a week ago. Well, that was weeks ago. Well, yeah, but like I saw him wait, last wait, week. Wait, wait, wait. I, Why aren't you calling your friend and saying <laughs> this what happened? Like your friends are supposed to be protective of you. So that should have well, been Well, okay, thing. maybe I shouldn't have said friend. More like an acquaintance, like friend. Like we don't really okay, hang out like okay. on the regular. Um, okay, got it. So, yeah, so she's, you know. But um, I, I gave him another dinner shot. You know, I was like, okay. Yeah. My mom's like, Julie, you, you know, you're being too picky. And okay. so... Um, went out with him again and the same thing, no reciprocation, um, none okay. of that. I did, I was just, I just wasn't feeling it, you know? And um, he, again, he tried, he tried to kiss me and I'm like, okay, I'm as slow as molasses. You're going to have to just like- Did you actually me. kiss him back? No, no, he, okay. no, he like grabbed onto my waist and I pushed him away. Okay. And I was like, okay. no, that's not, you know, Especially when the whole dinner conversation. By the way, can just... I interrupt you, Julianne, for a second? Yeah, I could just like blab on and on. No, 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 no. It's okay. I want to keep doing it. But ladies, if you're if, if you're listening to this right now and that happens in the future, here's what I want you to say to a man. What am I doing that makes you think this is okay? Mm. What am I doing that makes you think this is okay? Like, in other oh words, gosh, am I good. giving off a signal? Is it my perfume? Am I giving you the come fuck me eyes? What am I doing that makes you think that kissing me without permission is okay? Like, I, I'm I'm talking to everyone right now, Julianne. I right. want everyone to, you know, like it could be a man putting his hand on your leg or something or being pushy, whatever it is. What am I doing that makes you think this is okay? Hmm. Well, well, that's that my just first be, experience. I got it. You weren't prepared yeah. for this. So, but I'm no. saying now to everybody <laughs> if this happens. Okay. So, okay. How did the date end and where are you at since then? 
Um, I told him I'm not interested. It ended. I, I told him, I was like, I told you no the first date that I moved slow and you really haven't gotten the chance to get to know me. And um, you don't know if I've been married, you don't know if I have kids, you don't even really know what I do for a living. Yeah. You like know nothing. Like you just well, you want to make said up, it differently. I'm you know? curious. Oh. What you, you, okay. So here I'm giving teaching here for everybody. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm really curious why you didn't ask me questions about my life. Are you in, you know, is, is, how do you get to know a person if, you know, like, I'm curious why you didn't do this. Like come at it from a place of not saying what they didn't do. Come at it from a place of curiosity. Like, I'm curious why you weren't interested in getting to know about my past relationships, about my life. Do I have children? What do I do? I'm just curious. Like, I like that. you see the difference in energy? Yeah. <laughs> For like sure. when you said you didn't do this, you didn't, it's like, it's like, you didn't do this. You didn't do this. You didn't do this. So like, I'm just curious why you didn't do it. Okay. I like that. It's a, it's a, little, more, a little more gentle and yeah. Um, well, yeah, it's like no, that. you know what it is? It's, it's more, it's yes. I, I mean, I can see how you perceive it as gentle because the other one is harsh. Right. But what it is, it's more benign. In other words, it's giving them an opportunity to be you know, it's appreciative inquiry. It's allowing them to kind of reflect upon themselves. I've been with women. I, I'm going to share something with you, Julian. I've been with women that all they did is talk about themselves on a date. Some people are rather nervous or some people believe that's how you get to know them. They're not, they don't understand that they're focused on wanting you to get to know them. They don't recognize the other way around. Gotcha. It's it's just an unconscious trigger. They're like, I'm just going to tell you about me, and you can tell me about you. You can, I mean, you could have said, well, I've been married. You could have, you could have said, oh, I've been married too. I have this. I this is my job. You could have. They they don't know how to be in in, in the space of inquiry, in, inquiry or inquisitiveness. Hmm. It doesn't okay. mean that they're bad people. It's just they they lack that sense of awareness. So the date ended, and you're now kind of feeling like I'm done with dating. Is that right? Um, not done, but this is where this is where the question leads to. So okay. what is a good time frame to take for like, you know, how long should one um, not date, you know, and how long is too long? Because sometimes we can get like settled in uh, content, complacent in our own ways and um, just comfortable, even like being single, you know, and it's like, I'm, I'm happy right now being single, but I still long for that companionship eventually. So what is a good break, you know, and what are some um, like valid things, you know, that I could be working on? You know what I mean? Like in that, in that break. So, okay. You know, it's interesting. I have a, a, a new awareness that was introduced to me. When am I willing to share the remote control? <laughs> on the TV set. <laughs> when am I willing to share the remote control from the TV set? No, I'm just kidding. So, so you've asked a very complicated question. Now, here's the thing. Just simply say yes or no. Do you want to be in a fully committed relationship? Yes. Okay, so you want you know you want that, right? Yes. Okay. So, are you a good communicator in the capacity of being able to be an active listener without using violent communication? <laughs> are you are you um, capable of admitting when you're wrong? Are you cap or do your actions match your words? Do you operate from victim victor consciousness versus victim consciousness? Are you transparent? I mean, and I'm just throwing out a lot of things, right? Gotcha. Okay. Just off the top of your head, yes or no to everything I just said. Uh, yes to most. <laughs> okay. Yes to most. Okay. So yeah. with that said, because you could be a Royal nightmare for all I know. So you could be, <laughs> you could, by the way, every human being can be in a relationship. There's a big difference between being in a relationship and being in a healthy relationship. Okay. You could have a boyfriend tomorrow. If you want everybody on my channel, you could have a boyfriend or girlfriend tomorrow. They may not be your type. I mean, you have the capacity to have a relationship with someone. Do you want a healthy relationship with someone? Well, first it requires doing a lot of work on yourself to be in a relationship. So the question is, when are you ready? Guess what? Your heart knows the answer to that question. Hmm. Your heart already knows the answer to that question. And you're going to be ready 
like Abraham Hicks says, you're ready. You're always getting ready to get ready to get ready to get ready to get ready. And when that right person shows up, you're ready. You know. When you are down on the dating process, when you're like, oh, God, dating is so arduous. Oh, my God, I'm dealing with all this crap. That's not an issue of readiness. That's just a bad attitude. And True. if you're bitter, if you're jaded, if you're frustrated, if you're angry, if you have contempt, then you will just not attract anyone. A healthy relationship, you can attract unhealthy relationships all day long. So just recognize that your mindset makes up 80% of this readiness. Gotcha. Like I want to empower everyone. I, I want you to know, I deeply believe, Julianne, that you have the power to attract a great relationship in your life. You have that power within you. Now, I teach discernment as part of my coaching. I teach how to choose better. I teach you how to be more aligned to who you are and what you want. You just may not be educated. Most people are fucking clueless. <laughs> By the way, you know I curse, right? So um, most people are fucking clueless, <laughs> you know? Most of everybody watches my chat. Everybody thinks they're the exception, but I'm telling you, everybody is the rule. Most humans are clueless. They believe chemistry equals relationship success, and they don't really understand compatibility. They don't understand their own childhood wounds and traumas, their own patterns and things. Most humans don't get that. So to answer your question, you could have the most amazing relationship in the next 24 hours. That is absolutely possible. Hmm. But first, you have to want it. You have right. to really want it in your soul, okay? You then be in your power, be in your power. That's that self-love piece I talked about in this uh, self-love piece. Be more discerning. Ask questions before you meet someone. You should have asked yeah. your friend a lot more question. When was yeah, their last? that's you know, what like, was weird. Um, I mean, she just told me like, you know, what he did and where he's from. Yeah, because, and... you, because most humans focus on the surface thing. Does yeah. he have a good job? Well, yes, that's important. But mm -hmm. when was their last relationship? Are they, do they want a significant relationship? I mean, it sounds like you asked it some of those questions. So be discerning. And then last, have the discipline to walk away, which you did. You walked away from it. That took discipline. Good for you. You could have said it a little bit better, but that's okay. We all, I, know. You know, I think I'm just like part. on this zero tolerance, um, like, you know, like energy right now, because I have- But you see, that's uh, not healthy energy. To, I want you to have open. The real <laughs> trick is to be open and receptive to love. God, universe, spirit. I invite for Julianne and everyone else who's watching, yes. myself included, <laughs> to attract in a juicy, delicious, healthy, happy relationship where we have amazing attraction and connection for one another. And the communication between the two of us is off the charts. Yes, And we amen. can banter all day long and we can speak to each other without having to be right. And when we have conflicts and differences, we can resolve them with ease. And we're so compatible and our lifestyles are blendable with one another. And we share the same values at a core level with one another. And we can build the deep roots of trust to establish a healthy, happy relationship. God, universe, spirit, I invite that in for everybody, Julianne, myself included. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> well, okay. So it could happen Help. anytime. Just have to be um, receptive and open. And um, all right. And it's not that I'm like negative Nancy or anything. I just want to level up this time because I was, okay, married. We'll level I was up. married for a really long time to um, somebody who didn't reciprocate. So, you know, it's, I guess it's like, well, no one wants so to settle. Actually, okay. So I want you to put together a list of 25 qualities and values that are most important to you in a relationship okay. and then come report 25. back to me is that okay okay 25 <laughs> 25 okay. i was going to make it 50 so I'm that's a lot generous. 25 is a lot no it's okay. not that's nothing it's not? Okay. okay nothing are these like physical mental spiritual emotional all I'll of let it you decide what it is I'll okay let you decide. okay okay, okay. Good can i reach into the camera and give you a big gigantic jonathan bear hug Ah, thank you. <laughs> All right, Julianne. Thank you for being on. <laughs> take care. <laughs> All right. Take care now. You know, Julianne asked a wonderful question. You know, first off, she shared her story about what happened. And I just want to remind everyone that little phraseology, what am I doing that makes you think this is okay? Okay. I love that. And then secondly, be in, be in your power, your self-love, be discerning, and be disciplined. 
and hold to that space and hold that vision that you can actually attract a healthy, happy relationship in your life. I hold that space for everyone to have that. I hope this, um, and I hope that resonated with you as well, okay? Hit that like button if it did resonate with you. If it did, post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. And again, if you wanna connect with me to learn how to be discerning, check out the links below as well.